Let's have a look back at this qualifying session. When it all got underway, it was the Mercedes that went out at the front of the field. They started to get in some of their hot laps. We found out that the tyres take a little bit of time to, uh, to heat up. Albert von Tenetaxis was delighted because his teammate Thomas Enger was absolutely on fire in that first qualifying session. The first man to go into the mid two minute fives. The Mercedes going through that little chicane and they're dealing with it fairly well. Yeah, the chicane is actually working very well. I think everybody and I are very happy having done a bit of tuning at it over uh, practice yesterday. But the back of the Lamborghini, Darrell Young, it detached itself from the chassis. I suspect it was driver induced. Yep, so uh, there, there was the missing piece on the Lamborghini. The uh, number nine Porsche had a fun little time flying through the quick right left at the chicane. Matt Halliday doing a, a decent enough job in that first segment, doing a 2 minute 4.2. But then in the second segment, Mike Parisi and Mark Basseng and his teammate Nicky Pastorelli all had little trips into the scenery. Mike Parisi's was the most serious, bringing out the uh, red flag. Ford GT was the quickest though. He lost Pavlovi uh, sorry, Matteo Crisoni absolutely storming across the line. He's going to be starting that Ford GT as well in the race later on, which is definitely something to and watch. If you think back to Navarra, that is a fast yeah. starting car. Stefan Ortelli had a little bit of fun on the exit of turn nine, got out of shape and managed to avoid that barrier, speared across the circuit, managed to avoid that barrier too. I mean, incredible. once the car hit the tarmac, it just took a bite and it just, there's nothing Ortelli could do. But I do think he was full on the throttle as he was going through the gravel to try to recover it. But Yelma Berman crossed the line. It looked for all the world as though he'd taken provisional pole position, but it was the number one car of Fred Makovicki that ended up on pole position. They will start the qualifying race on pole. Join us for it at half past one local time, about three hours from now. Thank you very much.